So hello everyone, um, my name is Hong and I'm just here to accept this on behalf of Dr. Jones and uh, Dr. Marokoff and Professor Drummond. They're all in San Francisco at the moment to present our work at the annual conference. So here are a few, so first of all I would like to thank the Brain Foundation, the committee, Professor Kinnan and the, all the members and the donors for the Brain Foundations. Um, our work at the moment focusing on the glioblastoma, so approximately each year, there are 2,000 Australians suffer from brain cancer. Apart from that, the most common type of brain cancer is glioplastoma. Um, <clears throat> it's a devastating disease with 20% of each, 20% of the disease patients surviving beyond five years, only 20%. The current methods of diagnosing and monitoring glioplastoma is through MRI. However, MRI, although gives you good anatomic and special information about a tumour. It is not reliable at predicting how the tumour is going to behave in the future. So it is not accurate enough to detect early tumour recurrence in many patients. Um, so we propose that instead of having an MRI scan, we having a, also a blood test. So what it does is that a blood test is non-invasive and it can help you monitor the tumor as it's progressed through the tumor um, treatment progressions. So a blood test has the potential to solve these challenge challenges. Um, circulating biomarkers are starting to be integrated in the care of breast cancer and colorectal cancer, but up to date there's not been any study that using blood circulating biomarkers to validate brain cancer. So in our lab, we have up to date identified a panel of nine circulating biomarkers that we sh can show that between brain tumors and healthy control, there's 99% accuracy that can predict brain tumor. So with the help of the fun this funding here, we plan to use these nine markers to monitor it alongside with the MRI scan so that we can predict when the tumour can come back and so we can manage the treatments and the treatment plan for each patient better. So we also investigate these along with the MRI, like I said. So um, thank you so much for the foundations and all the members for the funding for this work. <laughs>